Oh, boy. This is a bomb I have shot. you using slurs. I have you dropping the N bomb. Oh, I shit. hear you saying tell us some truth about John. I hear you saying transphobic time. letter. Listen uh, to this. Uh, uh, rhetoric. Wow. I have everything, John. I have everything. I have you calling Susanna a cunt. I have you talking about sending cocaine to Florida that you picked up at the pub from some grifter. So I know it all, John. I know everything in your all life. Right. And if you want to go to my mother, go ahead. Kate, I'm going to let you go because you have way better content than I do what? today. I just want to tell you this. Congratulations. Yeah. You're the first person to actually play John correctly. Everyone else tries to get in his good graces and fails miserably. You've nailed it. Hey, oh, hey, I'll quad. shut up. I want to stay on. Yeah, yeah, quad, take some goddamn notes. This <laughs> yeah, is no how shit. it's done, <laughs> number one. Number two, he claims you sent him nude photos. Can, can you talk about that, please? Yes. I sent him um, screenshots of porn stars that vaguely resembled me. It's oh. amazing. <laughs> Could you name any of uh, the ones that we know of? She turned out Mia to be a That's hilarious. <laughs> Kevin Mia uh, I, I mean, this is a compliment. You look nothing like Mia Khalifa. Exactly. <laughs> it's hilarious. I Which had I to wash her body a little and face to nap. Yeah, That's yeah. fucking funny. Oh, oh her face was in the picture? No, still? I would still? never oh, okay. send a nude with my face in the photo. No, I thought her, I thought, I thought <laughs> Mia Khalifa was in, her face was in the photo, maybe, but no, that would, that would make it even you better. No, you the face out. <laughs> John would have probably bought it either way. Can I just he point out, everything. though, John, John saying that uh, you're a high-priced escort, first off, world's oldest profession. Secondly, high-priced means she's really good at it. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, there'd be a way. If you were a cheap whore, I'd be like, "Well, that's insulting." Uh, <laughs> you know, what the fuck? If he called I your tried. mom, if he called your mom, been like fifty bucks is all she gets. Your mom would have been living, <laughs> living, yeah, right. and he rightfully so, and rightfully so. She's like, the morning, "I just there. heard you're a high-priced escort with a heroin problem." It was like heroin problem. That's not the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Do you find it surprising that that he was out there being your white knight against uh, what he claimed so many people attacking you and your mother and in just the drop of a hat, he, I feel like, took it to a whole nother level than anyone else who has given you shit online so far. I feel like he, he called your fucking mother and your grandparents. That's insanity. Yes. Insanity, because I wouldn't... Wait to hear what she says right. about it was yeah. completely revenge and, and john kids. likes to pretend that he's like no i just want her to get the help that she finally, needs like no truth. you're full of fucking shit this is all because she finally slighted you and now you want to hurt her it's all it's always revenge fantasy shit yeah i want to get her in as much trouble as possible well, contrary to popular belief i do have a heart and there were times where i felt bad that john had no family mm -hmm. and was kind of alone in this world so he had somebody finally to talk to so i said maybe i could do an act of god and speak to this man and after a while i said he was talking too much about our conversations so mm. it wasn't it wasn't in my best interest to continue this relationship especially as the wedding was approaching and i knew i was never going to go to the wedding because that would just be a horrible look on my end. All right, so I have to play this clip for you since you said that, because this is such classic stuttering job. You know, just something, just something, Kate. I just want you to know something. My nephew, or really my brother, is paying for another plate at the wedding. You cost his brother $22, Kate. How well, dare eat, you? He'll yeah, just money. eat the second plate. So, <laughs> it's like... true. Can you imagine? A weddings cost tens of thousands right. of dollars. <laughs> and John goes, and Kate is ripping off my brother to the tune of eighteen fifty. Thanks for setting him back twenty three dollars, bitch. <laughs> and you know, if I went to the wedding and he was just given one plate, you only get one plate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get a second plate. Well, now he's got a second plate. So uh, he he called your mom and your grandparents. Yes. My grandmother didn't answer and had the wrong number for her because 
she has a new number since she's old no more cell phone and but he attempted to call her what and he wanted to get her involved as well so i really wish no ill will towards the man a part of me feels bad for him but the fact that he had to call my mom at 5 a.m parisian time is ludicrous and an act of um it's nefarious behavior it is nefarious well there's i was pulling some parallels between our friend aaron m hold over on steel toe and stuttering john because they both pulled the same shit where they're mad at a girl who no longer likes them or feels that no longer likes them. And so Aaron Immel called April's parents to say she's over at the Ricadas, she's doing drugs, she's hooked on coke, blah, blah, blah. It's like, that's like the move. The, two things, you beg for money all day, and then you tattle on people who slight you. Yeah. Well, it's, it's such a dick with, move. With, Kay, with Aaron and John in this instance, I think it's more of like, if I can't have her, no one will type of thing. Where, you know, John says, I mean, you guys spoke a lot, I imagine. He's very needy. He he wants to talk all the time. Uh, out of all those conversations, how many of them were flirtatious? Because he claims that he never once made yes. any uh, attempt or comment or said, I want to have sex with you. I find that hard to believe. Very hard to believe. He FaceTimed me looking very, he, as he thought, he looked like the sexiest man on the face of the planet with the two cats riding beside him in his beat-up Mercedes. <laughs> on the, oh wait, on nope. the road trip, he FaceTimed you while driving? Oh, yes, that's where the picture came from. Okay, yeah. right, right, okay. No carrier case, just two kitties just on, on his lap. seat driving his car. And I honestly, I find him humorous to a certain extent, but he likes to play it off as if the two of us talk very frequently. That's not the case, however. Mm. We talk on probably a bi-weekly basis when I'm cleaning the house and I can't really listen to what else <laughs> he actually has to say. But, you know, I press record. Maybe I could help, a, you know. My dad's friend out, surely, <laughs> over here on the bottom line. Maybe I have hey. to do some amends and reprimand for my sins um, of my egregious behavior in the dabble verse beforehand. And I'm like, if there could be one thing that made my dad happy was to help him out with the <laughs> stuttering John. Um, your dad down. would have tore. Your dad would have tore stuttering John apart. He would. He would have had a field have. day with him. Yeah. That, he would have carried horrible, out. right? Yeah. So I guess just to follow up on that question, Kate, was there ever an implication? Did John ever imply that? Because I know he wanted to bring you to Florida and go on the private jet. And I know there were plans for the wedding in New York and Paris. Was there, Paris. Was there ever an idea that maybe the two of you would hook up? Well, I actually have been staying far away from the Dabbleverse because since I graduated college a year ago, I've been kind of it's in this limbo, limbo of my life where, you know, then you get caught up in some stuff and you get attention and it becomes that automatic endorphin when the clicks and the clicks and the clicks come in. So I became part of this dabble verse. And then one day I woke up. I'm like, I'm deleting my Twitter. I'm going to take the LSAT. And so then one day John was like, why are you answering your phone? I said, John, I'm studying for the LSAT. And the day I take it, he says, if you get a good score today, you and I will go to Paris. Uh, John wants to go to uh london and then he wants to see france so he can see cape meany's underpants <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the jackals if you get a good score or if you don't even take it well either way we should go to paris afterwards <laughs> on your amex <laughs> on your amex oh my god is he gonna drive there <laughs> With the you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? This is breaking today and john's involved in this wedding and he can't go on he's got the reception Yep. He's got. He's busy. He's, he's busy gonna. He's today. gonna. He's gonna ditch that. He's gonna be oh, miserable. Today. Dad, when Dad is calling John right now, uh, he's like, I can't answer the phone. Dad, when Dad, what the fuck? Uh, he's probably in the church right now, going like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is unbelievable. Bless uh, me, so Father, now... for I have sinned. Please give me the communion again. But bless a father and the groom. Now. Um, is there is there 
is the ball in his court now regarding these recordings? Uh, oh, no way. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. No what, 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 is, what does John have to do? Shit to just get him going, get him going. <laughs> I'm like, and I will say, when he calls me a drug addict, he's the one who asked me, okay, uh, can you buy me two eight balls for the wedding? Two, he needs two eight two. balls for the wedding? And I stopped doing cocaine, so I've been living a very, you know, healthy and productive life now that I have a boyfriend. You know, I've decided to throw the bad behavior out the door, which He's I He's not good for you, Kate. In. Oh, wait, how many times has he called your boyfriend gay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he did call him, and he was like, and he, what was it? You heard on the, sh you heard on the recording, Julie. It was something. I don't think I heard that one. He, was he it? said something about, um, I was like, oh, he just wants to cuddle all night. And then he was like, what is he, a blank? Oh, yeah, he dropped uh, an F-bomb. Yes, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, John. Right. But oh, you're my an ally. John, oh, you can't do that. Because we oh, see it all the time on his show. Right. He wants to call me that word, and he always goes, you know, Carl's such a you know, loser. <laughs> you know, he has to stop himself. Oh, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. Oh, man. Yeah. DoubleCon 2 is going to be great. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> hilarious. Uh, All right. So, um, first off, I, I don't want to, like, gloss over this. I find this is to be crazy that John is looking for a Coke hookup for his nephew's wedding. He was talking about who's going to be there. It's all of his family. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's a wedding you probably don't want to just, like, get blasted at. Well, be my thought. I don't there's know. There's one other person that's going to be there. John. And John's going to do what John wants to do. That's it. It's not their day. John's it's kids day. are going to be there. He never sees his kids. Whether he's he has a relationship with them or not, the they're not at the wedding at all? They're not attending, no. Oh. He bought Lily Bell a new this. car. It was a whole conundrum because Susanna wanted to buy, uh, bring her to the car uh, shopping lot. She didn't want to go with John. So John had to make an ultimatum with Lily. I have to drive you. I have to, dr well, obviously he can't drive her back because she's got a new car. Um, so he said, we spent 30 minutes quality time together riding to the car dealership. Oh, so for all of you that the car just for the 30 yeah, minutes of time. Yeah. I know. I said, John, at least take her to lunch. <laughs> she probably didn't want to. She didn't want to go to lunch. Yeah, it's, it's probably too much time with uh, pops. And I feel bad about it, but, like, I don't know what he did to those kids growing up that make him hate them. Make them hate him so much. I, I find it sad. They really do yeah. seem to love their... Because he had to pick her up at her uh, Aaron's House. kids' graduation party. Oh. okay. Okay. And... Um, so he had to pick her up a few blocks down because Aaron's did not want the car near his house. Wow. So Aaron, Aaron and Susanna want nothing to do with this guy. They'd never see him. No. And the kids want nothing to do with him. And, uh, you know, he, the last kid that he had a relationship with was Oscar. But, of course, Oscar's now off to college. Oscar's very angry about this dabble verse. Oh, okay. What does Oscar know about the dabble verse? Everything, because his name is, is often said now and he said you better not tell the dabble first i'm going to harvard oh um, well, that was his mom and, who leaked and on Facebook. so that's what put a schism in the relationship between the two of them but anything john says about me right now is egregious and nobody ever believes a word out of john's mouth no. i've gotten like a thousand new followers since i started hating john yes right so, awesome so that's like kind of my case like right John now. So anything no, that does King no Meanie is a high priced escort. Okay, well why don't you just call me a five dollar blower hooker? Like I mean, <laughs> could you figure out a worse insult? Like All right, what? let's talk about that, Kate. I, I wanna ask you the tough questions today. All right, let's ask So of course and I was witnessing this when it was happening. I think this was on MLC. There was this conversation, I think maybe Chad leaked this or something. There was a guy who offered you a sum of money, you brought another girl in and you had a threesome where you weren't involved with the guy, but your friend was, and you were paid. Is that a true story? Who would ever believe that story? Um, that's what I'm asking you. That... Blue Mock's mouth. And I mean, I know I'm somewhat attractive, but who's going to pay 20 grand to have sex with me? 
<laughs> Hold on a second. There's there's people out there who'll pay twenty grand in sites. <laughs> you got to go to China to get that kind of price. Well, that that's true. That's a good point. So, so you're you're saying there's nothing true about that story. You, you planned Manhattan. that. I say, I'm sorry. Say that again. Especially not in Manhattan. Okay, right. so you're saying that that tr that story is not true at all. There's nothing to it. Twenty thousand, maybe I'm talking ten to uh, to five, but twenty thousand. That's <laughs> that's okay. that's well, one was year. It 5, at a state Wait, what's the story, Kate? That's a but, one year at a state school. So I mean, <laughs> no, I get that's it. A crazy. These men are all angry because they're over fifty years old, and they don't have anybody to sleep with them. No, I know. And Chad, Kate, I, I, was, I wanted to ask you who's more pathetic between John and Chad. We'll get to that in a minute, but go on, Julie. Uh, Kate, write a number down on a piece of paper and slide it over. What's the number? <laughs> yeah, what is the number? <laughs> I didn't have so, a question. Go ahead. All right, so uh, just, just to follow up on that, Kate, because you're being a little bit vague. You're being, uh, you know, you're uh, eluding the question a little bit. So when John says that he called your mom, and I mean, he did call your mom to tell her this, what was the story that he was telling your mom? Is there any truth to this? I think I may have gotten a text okay. um, from my mother, very angry. Okay. It's Dr. This, is, this is a, uh, hi, Marianne. So this is the exact text. Okay. Hi, Marianne. It's John. <laughs> I guess you decided not to call me. But I only wanted to help. Yeah. I have been nothing but kind to your daughter before <laughs> the betrayal. <laughs> oh this is awesome. What a, what a child. <laughs> this is awesome. It's uh... What I told you is all true. I know it's hard to hear, as I have three kids. If my own two valid Victorians <laughs> and my son is fucking bragging in a time, God. <laughs> and my son to Harvard with a free ride, I'll gladly help you if you want. Oh, so he's such an amazing father that he yes. can come in and fix you because his kid's going to Harvard. Yes. <laughs> was this not the man that was just a few months ago, like slut shaming her? Yeah. Yes, yeah. correct, correct. Such now he, now he's doing his version of bar rescue, but with children. He's going <laughs> to yeah, show right. up and turn things around for everybody. Because his resume suggests that another son was raised by his stepfather so well, got over the divorce so well, that he was able to live in a home where he could study in a, you know, non-distractable, healthy environment Enough so that he could get a free ride to Harvard. You know that was none of John's doing in his studio apartment with well, F, one of but, which he killed. But, um, but also, even in the text, you can tell he has a problem with his oldest. Because he, he could have yeah. just said, I'm the father of three great kids. Instead, he goes, I'm the father of three. Two valedictorians and my son. Yeah. That's a crazy, that you could crazy. analyze that text message for months. I mean, there's so much baked into that, that he felt the need to include that information. This is all revenge, too. He's all just trying to get revenge on you. Yes. The Kate is a sex worker, and she's on heroin. John, get the drug right. <laughs> <laughs> That's I really? always want to say. Get so, the drug right. So, Kate, okay, you're, you're here to say that you're no longer on heroin. Is that true? I've never <laughs> taken heroin in my never life. Never taken heroin. Okay, and that's maybe good. Maybe I've partied one or two times throughout the tenure of my young adult life in the <sighs> United States of America, especially in the city of New York. But yeah. I am not someone who's blowing for a bag of lines. Like, that's not who I am inherently as an individual. <laughs> I work, I have multiple jobs. I get up at eight every morning. I do the cake meeting workout. I have good skin. I have a good head on my shoulders. I have nice hair. I get it highlighted, but you know, <laughs> it's not like I'm this horrible person. The internet has painted me out to be, but I, don't I understand think people think why that. it has. I'm an easy no. scapegoat. I don't think people think that, Kate. I'll be honest with you. From my perspective, I don't think anyone believes 
that you're a horrible person or this no. is Chad and John has said because they have no credibility. Both those guys have zero credibility. And also this idea that's like Katie or Kate likes to go and party and stuff like that. It's like you're in a world of professional podcasters. Do you think we have our <laughs> shit together? Right. Is there anything in my background that implies that I have my shit together? I don't uh, think so. Who even knows what you were doing at Chrissy's wedding because you didn't offer me any of that stuff. Yeah, no, that was just for me and Alex. Sorry. You were off in the bathroom doing something else, the two of you. That's why I, was, I never saw was, the two of you. That was club foot cream he was using. It wasn't right. drugs. Yeah. yeah. Baby powder. Very, very special for me. Okay. So I'm going to ask one last time. And if you don't want to answer it, you don't have to. Tell me. What is the story that John is telling people that's leading to this thing where he's blasting it all over the internet that you're a high-priced escort? Okay. Is there any truth to it? What, what's, what is it? Where do they come that from? That is absolutely ludicrous. Okay. Because so he I just made it up. Fun. Did he make it up or did you tell him a story and he believed it? He made that up completely. Okay. Did Chad make it up? Because Chad, I think, was the original... Chad said, these men are just mad that I do not want to sleep with them. Hence, they had to create some narrative that I'm some giant slut. But they had to make up a narrative that I'm only a slut because I only accept money for sex, Which not just because I'm a slut that rejected them for sex. Ah, interesting. Oh. Mm -hmm. And and I believe Kate was doing her own integrity verification by uh, that story. You know what I mean? That's her way of seeing if Chad and John were honest and loyal. Yes, yeah, they would not. just say they were rejected, not because. That's right. We wouldn't pay. That's why she wouldn't have sex. Oh, so we're just going to say we wouldn't pay because we have integrity. And, and then listen, if you're doing if you're getting 20 grand to bang a guy, you're not doing heroin. You're doing the good shit. You know what I mean? You got the money for it. No, you're Please. investing in some crypto. That's what you're doing. Exactly. Good point. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but, so, Kate, but in your professional that. opinion, who is the more pathetic loser, Chad Zubach or Stuttering John Melendez? Stuttering John Melendez. Wow. Mm. Wow. Think about something. Chad. Take a bow. I'll think about <laughs> Chad, but like Chad, I just think is some like crazy, like ex frat boy, alcoholic turned incel. I know Howard Stern hired John Melendez and he was on his show, but John was always a joke to Howard. Oh, you said when he FaceTimed you uh, from the car, you were with some girlfriends, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did they think of, of John when they saw him? Oh, on they were FaceTime? like, this guy? I was like, yeah, he FaceTimes me all the time. I'm like, okay, girls, we're putting him on audio right now. He's the guy who we yell skull for. So everybody's <laughs> on the count of three. Do we have our frozen margaritas in our hands? And we're just like, one, two, three. Three. He's gonna answer. We're gonna hang up right after he answers. Hi. Oh, look at who these beautiful ladies are. <laughs> oh, sorry, uh, my phone died. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You are such yeah. a loser. It's unbelievable. So I want to play this clip and get your reaction to it because okay, yeah. John's in full cope mode while he's in this motel, this shitty motel that he's in. He does a lot of blow, by the way. Oh, he said okay. Coke, not Coke. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, okay, so <laughs> actually, since you brought that up, because people have been calling me out with the way that John's appeared recently, like over at yeah. Joyce's house, he's all sweaty, and he's gross. People are like, Carl, he's obviously on Coke. But I know Coke heads. Coke heads don't sit there for two and a half hours straight without doing Coke. No. So I, I don't know. I don't, but is that what is that what's going on? Is John, like, really in the, the blow? Is he, thing? like, every day, or when, when does he, do you know, like, how often? Yeah. Whenever somebody has it, and whenever uh, it's accessible, and whenever he's made more than $100 worth of Super Chats, he gets a bag. Oh, that's funny. Wow. So much wow. so that he, so, he sent himself bags, two grams of Coke, to Florida. I said, you better have not put a return address on it. He's like, no, 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 Don't worry. I just wrote Duke of the Dabble first. <laughs> oh, my God. It's impossible to figure out who that is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Now, when he yeah. claims this is hearsay, uh, yeah. now you can tell him, well, you have his voice saying those things. That's not you saying those. That's him telling you those exactly. things. Yeah, okay. And, and why the fuck, with your integrity verification system that John has, would you admit to crimes? 
How is that going to help anyone admitting to crimes like this and making painting yourself as a loser? Yeah, I get I my know. family doesn't talk to me anymore, but it, you know, I'm I'm the head of a cartel is not a good integrity verification <laughs> test, you know. Wow. Whoa. I, I'm blown away by this. I, I really, for whatever dumb reason, I thought John was too poor and too old to be a cokehead. Is that crazy of me? I, I had no idea. He is. What, a cokehead or too old? To be a cokehead. It so, just means somebody... they're a broke person. But they yeah. have some money, but it just all goes to coke. I dated yeah. a guy named Trevor. Um, John likes to refer to him as a finger. Yep, I've heard that. <laughs> He's one of those guys who makes a little bit of money, but um, all the way, Coke. Mm. So uh, John is allegedly worried about my safety. That's why he felt the need to do a PTA call, since Susanna never lets him do those anymore. <laughs> is what Kate Meany tweeted out, and John responded, I was trying to help Kate because you need help. Best guy, such a white knight. He's always trying to help you. Trying to help. What can I uh, somebody can I in your chat... Out? Somebody in your chat said he mailed himself cocaine and never mailed the keychains. What are the odds? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> that, that was where his priorities were at. Okay, so this is John in full cope mode. Cope with a P. As, uh, a, my mother. <laughs> a super chatter asks if, if John saw his children on Father's Day. And listen to this response. <laughs> I never spent, as soon as I was 18, I never spent fucking Father's Day with my father. Who the fuck does? A you dead fucking call them, say happy Father's Day, and you, and you move on. That's what my kids do. <laughs> yeah, that is what your kids do. Now, I'll just say this anecdotally. On Father's Day, I saw both my father and my father-in-law, Jen's father, on Father's Day. We visited with both of them for quite some time uh, because if your parents are still alive, and I'm sorry, Kate, but if your father oh, is still okay. alive, you All visit right, with Kate. them on Father's Day. You don't just send a text message and go, hey, Pops, it's right. Father's Day. Right. Yeah. But he, he claims that ever since he was 18, he never spent a Father's Day with his own dad. And you know that's a lie. You know, he's just saying that to make himself feel better that his kids don't spend time with him. Because what, what a father's supposed to get cards and hugs? Like, what, what is that? <laughs> yeah, every Father's Day, I just, we give each other a high five and we go on with our life, you know? I slap, him in, I slap my kid in the face and I say, Happy Father's Day. This is a family <laughs> tradition. Uh... Right, I want to go into... I got to get caught up on some Super Chats. People are, are chatting away. I, I want, Kate, if you can hang out for a minute. Oh my God, of course I can. All right, I'm having awesome. time of my life. I know. I, I don't want to waste this time that we have with you. And, and maybe we'll have you back again soon because this is amazing information that's yes. coming up. But um, I do want to talk about John is balding. So that's my tease oh, for after the, okay. <laughs> after the Super Chats. I got to get right into that. That's on Kelly, 95 bucks. Oh, hey, guys. Happy weekend. What a week of the devil verse. Cheers to TSN and WATP for the great content. And shout out to the best chat in the world. Agreed. Up to, um, he was promoting his show yesterday. Are and he says, uh, Kate Meany is a high price escort. News at two. <laughs> and I have to ask you, Kate, have you had any thoughts about legal recourse for what John is saying? Because he's definitely defaming you. I mean... He's just the biggest idiot I've ever met. If I told the man I want to sleep with you, John, he'd be there right now. I'll never say a bad word about of you. Yeah. If Can I, I ask him a if question? He had a small dick after sex, he would do the same thing. I mean, the right. man is out of his mind. And I know the three of you have questioned why would a 24 year old have conversations with this man? Well, I'd like to ask you three the same thing. Right. Why do you want to listen to him? How awesome do you think his stupidity sounds via phone call? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm sold. Smoke a little You're going to go personalized episode. I get it. John's calling. Would I rather hear his private info or what Shuli has to say about what he assumes is his private info? Right. I've got all of it. This is off the record. And John, this could be a lie. But I have a lot of secrets of yours that mm. you may Listen not want to hear. Oh, Listen boy. to that. This is a I have show. you using slurs. I have you dropping the N bomb. Oh, I shit. hear you saying F bombs. I oh, hear wow. you saying transphobic letterer, uh, <sighs> uh, 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 rhetoric. 
Wow. I have everything, John. I have everything. I have you calling Susanna a cunt. I have you talking <laughs> about sending cocaine to Florida that you picked up at the pub from some grifter. So I know it all, John. I know everything in your all life. Right. And if you want to go to my mother, go ahead. Kate, I'm going to let you go because you have way better content than I do what? today. But I'll I just want to... to John. Okay. I'm not here to play games anymore. He is now going to face consequences and repercussions that he will never be able to recover. Let's see if his family believes all the recordings about them or are me just planting fake seeds. Wow. Whoa. This is what I was hoping for because Whoa. he did threaten you quite a bit on a stream yesterday. Yes. He made it clear that he was going to drop an arsenal on you, but he already did because this is the thing. I'm so irritated with what John did to you. He well, called up your mom. Coming. You knew that he was going to call your mom and grandparents to say you needed an intervention and that you were a prostitute? Yes. And he called oh, my mom while what? she was in Paris, like probably at 11 o'clock his time, 5 a.m. her time. And she gets a call. Your daughter is a high price escort. <laughs> and she's a heroin addict. Let's is this wow. the superintendent? Get it, Rossi is a whore. <laughs> you have a whore living in your building. <laughs> and she was like, I just got a call from John Melendez. But <laughs> oh, I didn't no. know who he was. And I was like, who is John Melendez? He said, John Melendez? You don't know stuttering John Melendez? Oh, shut what up. What is going to be on the Howard Stern show? You got offended. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Kate, well, side question, real quick. Any chance you could join us at DabbleCon 2 in Rochester? Somebody has to pay for my room, but if I am invited, I will go. Okay. Done. Yeah. Hasn't spoken to his eldest kid in over three years. Whoa. Ooh. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> over three years. So we know that Knight got married and John was not at the wedding. No. And COVID, John claimed apparently. no one was at the wedding. It's just one of those, you know, one of those weddings where no one was involved. Like, oh, it seems like you'd be there and mom would be there, right? You would think. Yeah. At so the very what, least. What caused the falling out? Okay, because he claims to be this amazing person who accepted his child for being trans or gay person than trans. What happened? What happened? Knight does not like John. <laughs> Makes sense. I think that's the be all and end all. I, and I felt bad. And then I was like, ah, I guess I'll go to the wedding with you. I had an edible and I'm like, I feel so bad for this poor old man. Yep. Until I realized he was a total dickhead. Yeah, he, he gets everything <laughs> he deserves in life and he thinks it's everyone else's fault. But here's something interesting I want to bring up, because this wedding, okay, the, the ceremony was in the daytime, was in the morning. The reception yeah. the reception is now. That's what I was going to say. It has to be now or soon. The reception is definitely now. I know for a yeah. fact when it starts, he's back at the house streaming, which means he is not, he's, he's ditched the reception or he's not going. What the he's probably fuck? Probably not invited. <laughs> They found well, coke the on him and kicked him out. Is the reception out. in like a hotel or something? Maybe he just like ducked into his room for a minute. No. Now we have only, two new plates. Let's invite another couple. Yeah, this is Joyce's house. He was here yesterday. Okay. It's, a, it's the same and room. He did it for the money. Is he same with his brother-in-law, so, Susanna's hey, his brother? That mother doesn't want to do anything about it. Fine with me. Oh, he's talking about you. I'm sorry. I'm just checking in on this real quick, Kate. And he's yeah. like, oh, the mother doesn't want to do anything about it. Fine with me. Well, what's funny is he goes, I, I was listening to a second of it, and he goes, I wasn't going to even bring her up anymore. And it's like, but yesterday you went on your show and you called this woman a high-priced escort and yep. then called her mother and her grandma. And now you're going to sit here and go, listen, I drop it. I'm not even going to bring it up anymore. <laughs> yeah, I know, right. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck oh, he, you. He played his, his pocket eights all wrong. Right, He thought yeah. he was going to be the big fucking man pushing his entire chip stack in. And then the, a guy with... Uh, King Ace across the way was just like, yeah, no, I'll, I'll call that. He's like, fuck. And he'll sit there and, he, and he'll and he'll sit there and he'll go, I didn't draw first blood with Kate. She oh. did. Like, fuck off. What yeah. a garbage. What a garbage. He drew is. first blood. I would have gotten AIDS. 
<laughs> Coop, thank you for not killing yourself. I appreciate it. Cape Coral Chamber of Commerce says, we need confirmation that the cats are still alive. I don't know if there's confirmation for that. Oh, no, I know there's a picture of the cats I have. Okay. Well, we know that they were alive recently. Anyway. John's Dr. Zoidberg body tube box. Let's bring up how he couldn't pronounce my name. Oh, yeah, he's... Very few brain cells left. Silence, do good, Mama K. Show us your ween shirts for oversharing. Oh, yeah, did uh, did he tell you about his exploits in the classroom, Kate? Yes, he also told me that he had a water bottle thrown at him at one of the low-income <laughs> public schools in South Central, and how he also tells every one of his pupils that he is famous and they can search him up on the internet <laughs> what a isn't loser it, isn't it true that when his kids search uh him up on youtube uncle rico and watp always come up first yeah they don't realize they could get money for this <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> that with five pounds says he drove cross country and never mentioned he spoke to one f family or friend member, just chat or sad. And he talked about it a lot. This is the yeah. thing I was saying on Uncle Rico last night is when I have conversations with friends of mine in my life, I never bring that up on the podcast because that's what normal people do. They have conversations with friends and family in their life. Yeah. Right. I don't think it's content for the show. So anyway, I was talking to uh, my wife, uh, Jenny Jingles, the other day. And now, uh, you know, we were talking about this loser. He's like, what? What are you doing? Melissa, get to five memberships. Thank you very much, Melissa. Michael C, two bucks. The club defeat are an integrity check and a work. <laughs> it's very possible. You know. I'll never tell. Everything's a work. Arthur Jackson, Jen, it's always a joy to see you. Every uh -huh. time you're on, the high quality of the show. Improves. We just got this in. Breaking news, breaking news. Stuttering John is live right <gasps> now. Oh, no shit. shit. Oh, hi, John. <laughs> hi, John's lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let me know when he starts sniping this. Also, wait, by the way, I had something else to tell you about him in the classroom. Oh, please. He spends the entire time he's on class, he teaches them about how the sky, the sky is not actually blue. It's oh, purple. Okay. Of course you've he does. Heard him, you've heard this, right? Yep. yep, and the largest planet in the solar system. Yes. His dumb little trivial knowledge facts he thinks is educating people. And then he sits down and he says, I don't care if you go on your phone, I'll go on my phone too. And he says, well, he's on his phone, he just listens to Reddit. And also, the other thing is, is that he hasn't spoken to his eldest kid in over three years. Whoa! Ooh. Wow. Wait, what? <laughs> over three years, so... We know that Knight got married and John was not at the wedding. No. And COVID, John claimed apparently. no one was at the wedding. It's just one of those, you know, one of those weddings where no one was involved. Like, I don't know, it seems like you'd be there and mom would be there, right? You would think. Yeah. At so the very what, least. What caused the falling out, okay? Because he claims to be this amazing person who accepted his child for being trans or gay person than trans. What happened? What happened? Knight does not like John. <laughs> Makes sense. I think that's the be all and end all I, and i felt bad and then i was like ah, i guess i'll go to the wedding with you i had an edible and i'm like i feel so bad for this poor old man yep until i realized he was a total dickhead yeah he, he gets everything <laughs> he deserves in life and he thinks it's everyone else's fault but here's something interesting i want to bring up because this wedding okay the, the ceremony was in the daytime was in the morning the reception yeah. the reception is now that's what i was gonna say it has to be now or soon <laughs> again. Oh, no. You're a slut I again. Say. You're a <laughs> slut again. Slut again. I was in here last week. We missed you, Kate. Welcome back to being a slut. Welcome back, Kate. Yeah. 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 No heavy, no this. All Congratulations. Charlie. Oh, well, not Charlie. Well, right Julie and Carl. I'll right call before he's... Charlie together. That's fine. <laughs> Right before he said it, he goes, I'm not even going to talk about her. Uh, he goes, I'm done with it. She's a loser and a slut. <laughs> Followed that up. Unbelievable. Come oh, up with better stuff, you comedian. Go headline Caroline's. <laughs> They're dead. Well, but that that's a great point because that's why he goes to doxing and for the jugulars because he can't fight any other way. He can't battle with, with humor, with, with intelligence, with anything. 
Vinny's a fat wop, five bucks. Jen, I will give you huge super chats if you kiss me and leave that um, F-slur. Family there. No Susanna or any kids. Because I was thinking maybe he went back because he doesn't want to drink in front of them. Oh, but if they're no not there. No but I, th I think you made him go back early, Kate, for sure. I think so, too. And I mean, yeah. I feel bad, but then I realized I'd be a total loser on the internet if I even showed up because he couldn't keep his filthy mouth shut. Oh, no. Penis Rickle says, you asked for blow for the wedding. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's going to have some explaining to do over there on that <laughs> live stream. <laughs> we'll, we'll, the the file. File. <laughs> we'll keep an eye out for you, everybody. Don't he was like, worry. can I get two eight balls? <laughs> He's like, don't worry, I'll cover it. Yeah, sure. You're gonna cover <laughs> oh yeah, you needed to front him for the heads. Bucks. Call my guy, and I'm. You're gonna cover it? No way. No shit, Sherlock. Schmuel Bachman, two bucks. Juliet Motel houses welfare families, hence kids. I do have the clip of John yelling at the children outside his motel room. Janet the lawyer, the convo. John's son, can you not come to my graduation, John? Why, John's son? Because you're an embarrassment. A la the movie Orange County. I remember yeah. that. Comes up with a lie that somebody hula hoops in underwear. Well, he thought you could bring that on the road with you and, and sell out arenas with that. I don't even own a hula hoop. I can hula hoop. Think All about right. it, Kate. Nobody's doing that. You Think about that story, it. <laughs> Mumbling Nick, Jen is looking good. I have a mom wife, too. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Yeah, well. Dom Deloise, do. Carl, do you think it's good luck for your credibility to associate with confirmed pedos? Kate, yes. what did you do now? <laughs> yes, I think it's amazing. I thought, you, I thought you were just a slut. What the hell? 